Hello student, MS Sir is here. So today we are going to discuss about the types of force. In last lecture, we have discussed about the what is force and the causes of force. Okay. So today we will discuss about the types of force. So let me just like uh, share the screen so that you will see the written material of your notes. So here we have the slide which contain your notes material. So after completion of this lecture, just you take a screenshot and write it down on your notebook. Okay. So let's discuss what are the types of force. Okay. So we have beta main two types of force. One is called as contact force and other is called as non-contact force. Okay. So the name itself says if it is a contact force, then it is going to work between two touching object. Okay, when they are going to touch with each other. Then the force acting between these two particle or object is called as beta the contact force. What is non-contact force? See, non-contact means if objects are far from each other, means they are not in contact, but they act the kind of force between them. Such forces are called as non-contact force. Okay, so let's discuss what is the contact force first. Okay, so first we are going to understand the contact force. Okay, so what is contact force? The, the, <clears throat> the contact force is the interaction between object is necessary. Okay, for acting, the contact force, two object must be in contact with each other. The force that comes into action after the interaction between objects. Okay, such forces are called as beta the contact force. Okay. It is a force which acts when two or more object comes in contact with each other, then that force is called as contact force. And the contact force works on the point of the contact only. Okay, that means if suppose here we have the two objects. Okay, so suppose here we have one object and this is the another object. So force will work in that particular part which is in contact with each other, okay? So the contact force always works between two part particle or metal when they are in contact with each other. And the force act at the site of contact only, okay? Like example, we will discuss. Pushing a car means if you are pushing the car, that means you are in contact with the car, okay? So the force will act on that particular part of the car where you are pushing that. Okay, hitting a ball. Suppose if cricketer is going to kick the ball or the hit the ball, then the force will work between the ball and the bat on that particular side where the ball is going to touch. Then kicking a ball. If suppose footballer is kicking the ball, so there is again the contact force is working between the leg and the ball. Okay, so these all are you know, example of the contact force. Okay, second one we have beta the muscular force. Okay, muscular force we have friction force. Okay, these are nothing but the types of contact force. Okay, so first we have to discuss about the muscular force. So what is muscular force? The force due to the action of muscles is called as beta muscular force. We can say the force resulting because of the action of muscles is called as muscular force. Okay. And muscular force is applied only after the interaction with the object. I Means suppose if I am pushing or the pulling that but I am holding that object then the force is applied by these two fingers in that contact side. So it is a force by which I am holding that mouse in my hand. Okay. This is a force by which I have holded this pain on my hand. Okay. So the force acting on pain by my hand on that particular side I am touching the pain. Okay. So suppose I am just pushing 
the pain that means i am applying force over here and that force act when pain and my hand is in contact that's why they all are called as beta the contact force okay so now we have to discuss example okay so when we push the object okay like stool bag or lift the bucket okay of water we use the muscular force okay so in order to push we are holding the stool bag or we are like uh, harvesting the water from the well so we are using the muscular force okay animal also perform the muscular force in order to carry out their task okay so like uh, in farm we are using in agricultural field we are using most of the oxen hoe or the buffalo hoe okay and those hoe are being worked in a profit due to the muscular force of animal okay and we have already gone through that in the chapter called what yes it is the crop production and management where we have understood about all the instrument which are used in agricultural field where the flow is present okay the flow is present flow which is again uh, like uh, used or which is uh, used in profit with the help of oxen only okay now we have like modern technology like tractor we do have but in old time those oxen flow are being used in order to lose the soil okay so sprint this is nothing but the muscular force applied by the oxen okay so i want everyone had to take a screenshot for that and you had to write it down on your notebook also okay so take a screenshot i'm going to scroll down 